Hi, this is Julia Fox, and we are gonna play Smash or Pass with some of my most iconic fashion moments. Oh my God, I love this one. My assless chop moment with the horse tail by the Incommonist. Definite smash. So good. I love it. My time as a dominatrix has definitely inspired a lot of my looks. I think it's really left an imprint on who I am and it's really like woven itself into my DNA. It's a beautiful culture and I'm so lucky to have been a part of it. I try to honor that and, and kind of bring it with me on my journey of life. <laughs> Oh, definite pass. This is probably one of my worst outfits I've ever worn in my life. It's disgusting. Everything needs to be changed. It's hideous. I don't know what I was thinking. Like, this is actually atrocious. I think I was just like trying, I always wear black and I was trying to do something different and I think like the options were just like kind of limited and I didn't really like anything else that my stylist at the time had pulled and I was like, okay, I guess I'll just do this weird pastel like number, but it's really, it makes me want to throw up. Smash. My real wedding, I didn't know I was going to be getting married. So it was like my friend's just little white dress that she had, but she was like th two sizes too big for me. It wasn't this, so let's just put it that way. I mean, this Wiederhoft is like an amazing bridal designer. So girls actually do get married in this outfit. I feel like why should only girls that are getting married get to wear their wedding dress? Just like own it, be, get, get married to yourself. Pull a Carrie Bradshaw. There's just something really like beautiful about like, you can kind of see me, but not all the way. And there's like an air of mystery. It's just sexy. Oh my God. I mean, I love this outfit. I feel like this really started the denim craze. Now in hindsight, I probably wouldn't have worn those earrings. I don't think this outfit needed the earrings, but I love the eye makeup. I love the, the pants. I love like a titty cone moment and definite smash. I love like a Canadian tuxedo. I think it's just very American. And I love putting a newer spin to like classics. I just like breathing a new life into like an everyday item that normally you would like overlook or not really consider couture, consider it special. I like to make it special. What about this one? Definitely smash. My, the fox eye, iconic, I still wear it. I think it looks good on everybody. Everybody looks good with a blackened eye. We were trying to come up with a makeup and my stylist showed a Helmut Lang reference from a 1996 runway. And then we kind of just ran with it and it took off from there. So it's been a wild ride for the fox eye. That's why I do things, you know, it is for other people to enjoy. We're all one, the collective consciousness. So if I'm having an idea, it's already in the universe, ready to be claimed. Oh my God, this was, I wanna say, Moschino. I had gone to the show right before going to this event at the Guggenheim. And I don't know, I later found out like everyone hated this outfit, but I like loved it. I don't, I like it, I think it's cool. Pass. I would have probably worn it differently now. Maybe I'll add a little black leather, you know, something a little more shiny. Definitely not the red faux fur coat. I would not wear that with this. The hair could maybe be different, the makeup. But I look really cute. I look really baby. I look really chubby. I love it. Oh my God. This outfit I actually wore pitching our show. I was in LA pitching OMG Fashion. And I wore this outfit to one of our pitch meetings. So this helped us sell the show. Safe sex. Don't get pregnant. Definite smash, definite. This was at the premiere of Uncut Gems at TIFF. And that skirt is Paco Rabanne. And I remember at the time, like there were some people on my team that were like, oh my God, this is like really risque. It's really out there. But this is always my inclination to just be a little more adventurous. Now, if I would wear it, I would probably do my makeup differently, my hair differently. But overall, this is a smash for sure. 
I remember that those shoes were just so tall and they were hurting my feet and I was just like, I had to walk across the stage and I was in so much pain. I was like shuffling across the stage. I felt like I was gonna die. I was Josh Safdie's muse when he wrote Uncut Jams. Right. Uncut Jams. I didn't think I was saying it that crazy, but it's also something I've had to say so many times. So, you know, the words just like merge. Oh, I love this outfit, but the train got all like, like, oh, I can't, this picture hurts my soul. Pass, 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 pass. The train got like wrapped around itself. It wasn't, it wasn't training the way it was supposed to, but the outfit itself is very cool and very beautiful. Lots of drama, lots of theatrics. It's a very strong look, but my eyes just keep looking at that train and it makes me want to die. This party in particular, they don't allow any stylists or managers or agents or anyone there. So you're kind of just like left to the wolves and then they're supposed to make sure that your outfit is okay, but clearly someone didn't get the memo. And I guess maybe they didn't notice that it wasn't supposed to do that. They probably didn't know what my outfit was supposed to do. Um, so it's okay, it's not their fault, but it definitely wasn't supposed to look like that. Oh, this was recently at the Willie Shavaria show, Definite Smash. I feel like it's giving duvet cover, it's giving pillow princess. It's so much fun. There's some skin, but not too much. It's still tasteful. I love the hat. Just again, a lot of drama, a lot of fabric. And this was a fun night. That's my two besties. We all kind of dress the same. We like the same things. We share clothes. We definitely like pass around all our clothes. Like I remember my boyfriend gave me a pair of shoes and like Richie was wearing them and then Brianna was wearing them and he was like, what the fuck? Like I gave those to you. And he was like all like butthurt. And I was like, listen, you know what you signed up for. You get three for the price of one, now fuck off. Definite smash. I love it. It just like makes me happy. I knew I was gonna do the yellow hair, but I wanted to do it in a way that felt really classic. And then I just was like, we need white because of the contrast. And this is what, what came out of it. I have to be blonde for my next movie anyway. So I was like, well, let me just like preemptively have a moment platinum before I have to like go regular blonde, basic blonde. And I just love it. And I'm never going back. You know, you like what you like. It's just like instinctual. I'm just, I just gravitate that way. It's different maybe. And, I don't see a lot of people doing it, and I just always want to be doing things that other people aren't doing.